running in the sand. I become a professional in, in, in Holland, yes. Uh, first I joined the academy of Ajax and of FC Utrecht for the professional class, but my first professional contract was uh, at FC Utrecht. We played against, it was my debut against uh, VVV Venlo and at that time Honda was playing still in Honda. Now we lost that game 4-1. Yes, at that moment Honda was the key player of FV Venlo and that were, that were the key players and, and Honda was, was the best of the team at that time. Uh, yeah, I started to play with Kosem Amal and uh, I was new and uh, I was one of the first coming from, from Holland to, uh, to Indonesia. And then the coach invited me to play for the national team because in that year there was an AFF Suzuki Cup and it was an important uh, tournament for Indonesia. Yeah, for me it was the most amazing feeling because, uh, first of all, I felt always more Indonesian than, than, than Dutch. And uh, to play for your, for your country and with, with back in my mind that I, can, that I make my dad proud uh, because he is from Indonesia. And, 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 and singing the Indonesia Rai, the Indonesian national anthem, it was something very special. When I was playing in Thailand, uh, they were working in Chomburi, they were working very uh, many uh, Japanese people and they invited me to, to come to Japan uh, to see if I can play there and I, I thought for myself that's a great opportunity to show uh, what I can and if I'm capable to play on, on such a high level because I think the J-League is the highest level in, in, in Asia. So uh, that's how I moved to Japan. Uh, I knew that Japan's football was very good and I knew from Honda of course and uh, there are many other great players who played in Europe coming from Japan. Uh, just from what I read that it was the, the best league in, in, in Asia. And that was my, my impression. Yeah, for the first year I had a lot of difficulties. Uh, also with the language of course. The culture is different. It's a whole different culture I had to get used to. And then also the, the, the play style was different. So I had it, the first year I had it very difficult and I was on a point that I wanted to go, go back home and go to Indonesia. But uh, my wife and, and, and my manager said, no, you, you have to stay, you get better from this and if you pass this, there will be a better future for you. Uh, and I did and uh, for me now everything works better and, and I'm really enjoying it now and I'm not thinking of going home now. Of course, I have a lot of good players as well. Uh, I know Shinji Ono since I was a little boy when I was living in Holland. And then uh, that you read that Inamoto also come to the club. But it's something that has a lot of impact on me as well. I mean, there are two great players from, from who you can learn. And uh, yeah, that, that's why I was very happy with my move to, to Sapporo. Yes, I was in the beginning pretty nervous. Because uh, Iwata is also a very good club coming from the J1 as well. And we were beating them and it was my time to go in and then it's the time to, to, to show the coach and show the fans what you're capable of. And yeah, I had a lot of fighting spirit I have always in me and uh, a lot of hard work. Uh, I think I made an okay first impression and that was a good move to, to grow in, in, into the team and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with my debut. Yes, I felt a lot of support from the fans. Uh, but that, that support started already from the training uh, since I came. And that's always very nice that they appreciate you're there. And then if you make your debut and, and they are even more cheering for you, that's, that's, that's something nice and that's what you want as a player. And it motivates you, so that's good. Yeah, that was, that was a terrible feeling for me. Uh, so that was the first thing that was coming into my mind. I'm injured, I'm starting to play regular times, four times in a row I came in and I played okay and I felt well. And at that time if you get injured it's like, yeah, the ground disappears under your feet and it was a black hole and it was also a pretty bad injury. So, uh, But I think I, after this injury I will get back stronger and, and I'm even more motivated than ever before so I can't wait to get fit. In my mind, my, my, my goal further in, in the rest of football, I don't want to take really big steps but like I said uh, I want to play J1 you have to go step by step and my first step is, is to go to the J1 with Ponsadola because that's that's what I wanted and that's where I have failed before so that triggers me to to play again never give up Irfan Bachtim With no
sound to the cold ground below.